So we're gonna take another look at the Hanoi sequence, but this time solving it by the iterative approach. So since we're gonna be solving it through iteration, a key thing to remember is that h of something is equal to two h of previous something plus one. So looking at this, a sub n is equal to this, so that's gonna be equal to two times, now we're gonna replace h sub n minus one with two sub h of n minus two plus one. So there's what we have there. So now we're going to simplify, and that's going to give me 2 squared h n minus 2 plus 2 plus 1. So I'm thinking another step or two, we'll be able to see the actual pattern, then we'll be able to move on from there. So now if I'm going to, I'm going to substitute now h sub n minus 2, so it's 2 squared times, so a sub n minus 2 is 2 h of 8, 2 h sub n minus 3 plus 1. And don't forget the plus 2 plus 1 that carries over from the previous step. So that's going to be 2 to the third h sub n minus 3 plus 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. So at this point, are we seeing a pattern? It looks like my h term is going to have, so we're subtracting whatever we're raising 2 to the power, right? And then we're adding the remaining powers of 2. So this means I'm going to fast forward to h sub 0. So that's 2 to the n times h sub n minus n plus, well, let's see, this power is always 1 behind. So I'm going to call that 2 to the n minus 1 plus 2 to the n minus 2 plus da 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 all the way down to 1. Now, this is h sub 0, which remember from the Hanoi sequence before, we defined as 0. So this is equal to 2 to the n minus 1, all the way down to 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. And you might remember from previously, when you add up the first n powers of 2 or whatever, you get the next power of 2 minus 1. And that, again, solidifies the result we got before. If you're not sure about this, just remember the sum of a geometric series. If, if we're summing up the first n terms of a geometric series with, n, with uh, base 2, remember that it's the first term times 2 to the next power minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And that's where we get the 2 to the n minus 1. So there we have it, another iterative example.